Good morning. We are here doing another visual podcast of Inner Neighborhood. We've invited Lindsay Lalonde of Lifestyles Real Estate to come and kind of tell her story. Um, she's going to explain how she got into the industry and then explain to us how she likes to help her customers. So, Lindsay, I'm going to turn it over to you. Good morning. Thanks so much, Todd. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me Absolutely. here today. Um, yeah, my name is Lindsay Lalonde. I'm a broker with Lifestyle Real Estate Firm. Um, we're a awesome, tight-knit team of currently five. Um, and our broker in charge is Trevor Niswanger. We've got Madison Oaks, Danielle Mount, Ember Bryles, and myself. Nice. Um, yeah, so it's Big wonderful. Team. Love working over there. Um, I've been with them for five years. I got my broker's license last year. Congratulations. Um, thanks, yeah. <laughs> so how I started out, um, I went to graduated from CMR and then I left for college. Um, and it was expensive where I was living. So I was like, you know, what do, I, what do I really want? I want to move back home, settle down, buy a house. That was right. my main thing. Um, so I moved back, worked for DA Davidson okay. a little bit there. And then I worked over at the Chamber of Commerce. That's right. where we met. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I decided, um, actually, Joanne Gogo had gotten her license. And it was so funny because I didn't tell her. And I was planning on getting mine, too. And so then, all of a sudden, well, she had her and then I got mine and so that was pretty cool cool connection there and um, so now here we are today so. that is perfect so w with the listings that you have and when you're showing customers houses what are some of the things that you like to do that makes it unique experience for them you know one of the main things is I just put myself in my customers shoes I, I go okay. okay what would it feel like what would my experience be and I just want to prioritize their experience, make sure that they're taken care of, their needs yeah. are met. Our big thing is just being honest and ethical in what we do, and that's why I love the team that I'm on because that's our main priority. Great. So, yeah, that's really what it comes down to. That's perfect. So, what are some of the questions when a customer is shopping for a home that you may be asking to kind of, is there a wish list and a, a need list? Is there, yeah, yeah. There, there's probably two different sides Absolutely. to the story, I would imagine. Right, of course. <laughs> of course, it comes down to first thing price point, you know, right. where do you want to be at? What can you afford? In, what that looks like for you. Um, a lot of people are like, we need a two-car garage, we need a fenced yard for the pets, um, all that kind of stuff. We okay. have to, we sit down at our office, take inventory of what the needs are and the wants, and then kind of go from there. Exactly. And so your office is in that lifestyle building, yeah, correct? It's, uh -huh, it's the old Coast to Coast building at 721 Central Avenue, okay. um, right downtown. It's also a co-working space. Nice, We've got yeah. office spaces there. Um, it's an event space upstairs. So a little bit of everything. It's just such a fun synergy and environment being over there, so I love it. So with the actual selling of a home, is there yes. any differences that you do with that when you're trying to versus bringing a home Sure, yeah, the bringing market, a buyer, or, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, getting everything list ready is a super big priority. Um, walking through the property with your client and pointing out things right. that need to be done prior to sale, having a realistic pricing conversation, this is the price that I recommend that we're at. Of course, my job is just to recommend, but... Right, right, right. <laughs> but there's a reason why, you know, we've got a plan that we follow and there's a reason why we do it because historically, you know, certain exactly. things find certain results with certain, you know. Right, and, and some of those recommendations are a good thing because, you know, the length of time on the market, you know, right. customers start thinking that it's, there's right. some What's situation. Right, yeah. um, You know, you, you want it to go and solve everybody's kind of life changes quickly. Absolutely, yeah. Um, there are just many facets to that. If you have to drop the price, then once again, the buyer is thinking, oh my goodness, right. what's wrong with the property? Yeah. Um, so getting the price right up at the very front is very it's important. It's so important, yeah. And I think, like you mentioned, everybody's, lifestyles are different right. and so it's important to take that into note what are the priorities there are they you know are they okay with waiting a little while and and so there's a lot of different things and that shopping. we have to to put into account there also what's going on with the market right. it's so important that we know what's going on in the market and it it seriously can be just really tiny micro changes that are occurring that we have to tap into and right. know hey the market is doing this right now like I advise that we make sure that we're on top of things. So. Well, and just like with the homeowner's insurance world or life yes. insurance world, the right. time is now to yeah. buy. You, right. you don't ever want to wait regardless of market right. conditions yeah. because the market conditions could never improve or they could get worse. And we so, just don't know. Um, you know, when you're in the home and, and you have a higher interest rate of that type of thing, you're always welcome to refinance. But mm. finding that home and getting into the home is the biggest challenge. Absolutely, so. yeah. Wonderful. With that being said, is there any other upcoming market conditions that maybe? 
um, changing things, the Sentinel project or anything like that? Oh yeah, think? sure. I think balls? that people coming in, I know that there's going to be some temporary housing, so I'm not sure how much of that will look like, you know, permanent housing, housing. for people looking for homes. But we do, um, we have buyers out there that are looking and I think there's been a little bit of a shift in inventory where we're seeing a little bit more on the market. Right. but. Um, but days on market has gone up a little bit, right. you know, we're closing maybe 99.5 or 3 or something like that under list price, so oh, okay. it's, we're not seeing those those crazy Big fluctuations. Yeah, so we'll see what well, happens. But, well, that's good. Yeah. So, Lindsay, if they need to get a hold of you, your phone number is? 406-781-7511. Your website? Well, I we have a work one, but yeah, oh, okay. uh, I don't remember what it is. Oh, okay, I have your business card right here for you. <laughs> I come prepared. <laughs> I know. I'm like, there's so many gratefulhomesforyou.com. Everything is Instagram and Facebook, so. <laughs> exactly. And that's another way to get a hold of her. Yeah. The address of Lifestyles yeah. Realty? Lifestyles Realty is 721 Central Avenue. And right she has downtown. an office right there. So please support Lifestyles Realty, Lindsay Lalonde, and make that home buy and purchase your game plan. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.